Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason, my guy behind the camera is Trenton, and this is the Diamond Knife Company. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, we really appreciate you stopping by. If you're a previous viewer or a subscriber, we really appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support. Today's episode is gonna be a good one. Today we're gonna to be looking at recently added knives to my personal collection. We have a lot to look at, so let's get into it. All right, as you can see, I've got quite a few knives on the table. I'm gonna start running through these fairly quick. Uh, I will link all of the models underneath each model as we go through, and I will try to link each one of these to their manufacturer in the description. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be this one from Kershaw. Um, this is gonna be their Launch 9 Auto. Um, and uh, it, it uh, fires really, really hard. You have to hold on to this handle. First time I uh, fired that thing, it almost jumped out of my hand. So if you guys don't have one of these in your collection, um, just be warned that this thing is super, super snappy. That spring has got a lot of power in it. Um, but you can see the construction there. Got a little bit of an integral backspacer there towards the butt of the knife. Deep carry pocket clip. Um, it is reversible, so you can see that here on the front. You can carry this left to right. That would be a good carry for uh, lefties along with the uh, button lock there. Um, CPM 154 blade steel on this one, and uh, it is American made knife. Super cool design. I like the blade shape on this one, I like the fuller, how it runs the full length of the blade. Just a super cool knife. Um, a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, you can see that in, in my hand. It's not very large but a uh, super cool knife that you could probably just drop into your uh, fifth pocket in your jeans, like your coin pocket, um, and that would be like an extra carry. Um, next one that I have here to show you is gonna be the Iridium. This is a newer release from Kershaw, and uh, it is a crossbar lock. So I'll go ahead and open that for you guys. I'll let you check that one out. You can see that right there, there's the crossbar lock. I like the step milling on the crossbar lock and the thumb stud. That looks really nice. Nice swedge up on the top of the blade. Um, and, and I really, what jumped out at me on this one is, one, the shape of both the blade and the handle, but also the materials and the colors that they went with. I like the contrast between this like dark titanium like type gray scales and then that bronze orange type backspacer with the integral lanyard hole there. Um, this one will be reversible on the pocket clip as well. You can see where it's milled out there and that'll drop, drop down into there. Um, deep carry pocket clip on this one as well. And it is inset into the uh, scale with the smooth, with the flush screws so it's really nice slides in the pocket really nice um, it's got a little bit of a weight to it but it's not it's not really heavy at all very very thin carry as well and uh, just overall just really like the aesthetics of this knife now the next one we're going to look at i want to show you is going to be this bally trainer and i didn't actually get this one truth be told i didn't really get this one for myself i got this one for trenton he wants to to start learning how to i'm not even going to pretend to know how to do that that's just not my gig um, but uh, i've messed around with it a little bit with trenton and uh, it's pretty fun but this is a trainer that uh, kershaw has come out with and uh, you can see the the milling uh, through the blade there i guess to lighten it up some and it's got a decent size stock that they use for that. 
Um, and then the, the handles you can see here does have the, the clip there to close it. You can see the inside inside of the handles there and then they are milled all the way through on both sides. So it's pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, not something that I will get into, but if you've been looking for a cheaper uh, Bally trainer, this might be a good one for you guys. Um, next one we have here is from SOG. This is their TELUS. Um, I really like, again, with this one, I really liked the colors of the scales along with that contrast of the small backspacer that's back there. Um, and it's pretty cool too that the lanyard hole there uh, looks like it's the quarter inch like driver's side where you could use that as a tool. Um, you can also see that it does milled out there in the scale for the pocket clip so you could reverse that. Um, and this one is, uh, it's got a, a decent um, pocket clip on it but you, um, but you can see that it's because of that lanyard hole right there, it's not deep carry. You're gonna have some of that sticking out your pocket, but I don't really think that'd be a deal breaker. Um, it is a frame lock, and what's nice about this one is is that they have the scales on both sides, so it, it uh, kinda hides the fact that it is a frame lock. And I'll show you the back, the back side of that when it's closed. Just looks more like a, uh, a liner lock. Um, got a big, big belly blade on it right there. This one is the uh, Cryo 440C that SOG does. Nice wedge there on the top, it's thicker. It's got some thicker um, stock that they used for the, the blade there, but it does get pretty thin and has a real high, almost full flat grind. So this should be a good, should be a good slicer. All right, next one we have, we're gonna look at, it's gonna be from Cancept. And this one is gonna be their Mini Corvid Undead. And when they say Mini, they mean Mini. Uh, when I ordered this knife, I thought it was really cool with the scales, but I had no idea that this knife was gonna be this small. The cool thing about it is, um, it has a really strong detent, so when you use the flipper tab, as small as it is, it will, and it is a liner lock, um, but you, it fires really, really hard, which is super cool that uh, a flipper this small works that well. But overall, just the design of this knife, I wish they, or I hope that they make something in the future that would be a, a normal size uh, knife and uh, that'd be great. Um, but I, I just like the overall design of this whole thing. Like I said, it is a liner lock. Um, you can see the open design there, the barrel spacers there towards the end of the knife, the jimping on the top, um, the full fuller in the blade, uh, the chopper style blade. Just overall, I like everything uh, about this knife. So super, super cool. This next one we're going to be looking at, I'm going to show you, is going to be the Baby Banter by Civivi. Um, so most of you probably, if you're in, into knives, then you probably already know all about this one. Didn't have one in my collection. I figured I, I probably should get one. Um, and uh, I'm not a huge small knife guy, but I'll have to say that was really impressed with the design of this knife and this small knife does not carry like a small knife. It carries like a lot larger of a knife than it actually is. Um, you can see the super, super deep carry pocket clip there. Um, it is reversible, so you can see that you can move it to the other side. Um, if I hadn't already mentioned, it is a liner lock, so you can see that right there. Um, but with that forward choil, that, that huge choil right there, you can really choke up on this knife and then how the knife uh, scale towards the back, how it kind of gets wider, that really gives you something for your pinky to grab onto. And even though it barely fits in your hand, it feels like 
you've got the whole handle in your hand and I don't feel like I'm trying to hold on to something that's smaller than my hand. So super cool design. Um, and uh, if you are into small knives or maybe want to try a smaller knife, um, like I said, this one does not carry like a small knife. So that might be something you can uh, check out. Um, the next one we've already done a full video on um, and I will leave a link uh, at the end of this video to jump over and check that one out. But this is the Demco 20.5 and, and we actually did a full video on this where we're gonna, you'll see if you jump over there and check it out, we completely take this knife apart down to its individual pieces and go through it with uh, you guys and then um, put it all back together. So uh, if you've wondered about this knife and uh, but was weren't on uh you know you just weren't sure about it check out that video and i'll definitely help you uh understand if whether or not this might be the knife for you but uh it's got the shark lock up here so um that's how you would open open and close the knife you can use the thumb studs here to open the knife um, or you can just use that that shark lock on top uh, to open it. it does have uh, the clip that can be reversed to the other side but you can't use the same clip uh, they in the packaging they will give you an additional clip that you can use to mount right here to the other side because of how it's tilted um, you can't use the same clip but it's nice that they put that in there for you so yeah if you're interested in this knife or want to know more about it then definitely uh, check out uh, our video where we completely pull that apart. This next one was in our last video that we just um, did, episode nine, and that's gonna be this Gerber Propel um, Auto. And it is, uh, it's a button auto, and then it does have the lock here where you can uh, lock it. And then also you can lock it from not firing so if you got that in your pocket and you don't, you don't want that to fire in your pocket, you can close it there. Um, super thick slabs of grippy, grippy G10, and then a substantial heavy duty backspacer there that runs all the way to the back of the knife there. And then it's, you can see that it sticks out there. Definitely give you something uh, to, if you needed to bust some glass or maybe you needed a pound on something that would definitely give you the capability of doing that but uh, been carrying this knife um, quite a bit and uh, really really am enjoying it I'm liking it more and more as I carry it um, you can see there it's uh, American made um, I believe yep S30V blade stock there I don't know if I'll be able to get that in the actual photo for you guys if I can get that up close enough yep there you go made in the USA S30V um, Tonto style blade just just a very stout carrying knife all right and then this next one was in our last video as well and this one is the Gerber cert <clears throat> and this one um, is an American made knife as well um, and this one has uh, S30V blade stock as well. I don't know if I can get that in there for you. Yep, there we go, American made, S30V. A um, little bit smaller of a carry. It's kind of a medium sized knife, super light um, on the scales. Very thin carry, um, very thin. You can see that right there, very thin. Um, it's got that uh, through construction there. Deep carry pocket clip. It is reversible. And um, just a really, really nice design for a knife. Something that uh, you could wear in a pair of shorts or maybe even in slacks and it's not really going to weigh you down. Not going to take up a lot of real estate in your pocket. So uh, very, very cool. Um, I mentioned in our last video that I hope that they make a larger version of that because I would probably carry this knife a little bit more. Um, but it is kind of cool here, like I had mentioned in the other video as well, that uh, you can move uh, this and place it where you'd like it. So 
Um, that helps out with um, the size of the knife. Makes it uh, a little bit easier to get, get your thumb to that opening position. So that one's a Gerber's Assert. Now this next one is by Kaiser and I don't know the actual, how to pronounce the actual name. Um, I'll, I'll put it below. Um, it says here it is B-U-G-A-I. And I, I, would, I would butcher that if I tried to say it, so I'm not even going to do it, guys. I will link it below, and you can call it whatever you want to call it. But super, super cool knife, no matter what the name is on it. Uh, Micarta scales on here. Super cool blade, CPM 154 blade stock. Nice uh, opening there for uh, the hole in the, the knife there to be able to deploy the blade. That's a cool fuller that runs the full size there. Decent size stock um, on the blade as well. You can see the through construction there. Deep carry pocket clip on this one can be reversed as well. You can see that the, it is milled there on the front scale so you can move that around the other side. Um, it is a liner lock. You can see that there. And the action on this knife is amazing. It is just super buttery, super buttery smooth. And uh, man, the fidget factor with this knife is just there. I mean, the drop shut on that, I mean, just look, I mean, you don't even have to shake it. It's just crazy, crazy knife. So if you, uh, are, it's, a, it's about a medium size, about a medium size knife. Um, if you use the, the finger choil right here or that divot right there where the liner's at, um, for me it's, it's right at, you can see that's right at the edge of my hand, but you can choke all the way up right here to right behind the blade and it's still super comfortable. So if you needed to, and then with that jimping up on the top of the blade, you could really choke up on it and, and do some some hard work with this and it's it's still super comfortable and the patina that this thing comes with and it's already starting to get on these scales from just barely carrying it is super rad you can already see that it's just starting to pick up some really cool color so definitely check that one out if you're into my car to scales that might be a good one for you guys um, the next one is this uh, one from SC the Azula 2 um, I've wanted one of these for a really, really long time and just never, I'm not a huge straight blade guy, but um, I thought that this would definitely be one that I would carry and I'm, I'm gonna start trying to carry um, more, but you can see that there, it's got the micarta scales that can be removed. Uh, fairly decent um, in thickness, you can see that there. And uh, so the handle is super, super, um, comfortable i mean you can really get a good grip on it and there's like really no hot spots everything is rounded over really really nice and fits really good in the hand um you can see that it just makes it to the side of my hand and it feels like i've got a really good grip on it um, and that jimping feels like it's just right there just feels like it's just in the right spot when you when you choke up all the way into that choil it just feels right the jumping is, is good too. It's not sharp, it's not cutting you. Um, and this one that we got came in a kit, so it had the, uh, the magnesium rod, the, the ferro rod. Um, it has some uh, hardware that you can mount for. Uh, I've got this right here, I'll show you. So you've got this here, um, the pocket, I mean, you can turn it into a pocket or a belt carry with this piece here that I've mounted onto the sheath or you could just carry with just this top portion that the knife goes into and then you could carry it as a uh, neck knife as well. You could put your paracord through here and then just have that where that's just hanging over your, you know, down from your neck. Um, but super cool carry and uh, I've carried it a few times and I'm going to start carrying it quite a bit more. I just I really just like the aesthetics of that knife and the way it looks. Now this last one I just got, well, next to last uh, one that I just got is from, from Vero Engineering. 
Some of you may know about this knife, some of you may not. When I heard about this knife and saw it, I instantly fell in love with this knife. Um, this is the, their Synapse uh, Extra Large, the Synapse XL, and uh, the, it's got the natural uh, micarta uh, scales on there and um, with a stonewash blade. Now, if you jump over to Vero Engineering and you check out their knives, you'll be able to see that they make all different versions of these. This is their third release. I'll probably do um, a, an actual video in greater detail about this knife. Um, but uh, if you get over there, you'll see all of the different versions that you can get of this knife and the other knives that they that they uh, they offer. Now, like I said, this was their third release. They didn't have any. I had to get on their their uh, mailing list uh, for the email so that I could be um, notified when they had a drop. And when they did, I jumped over there and some of the models were already gone. So, I mean, you can see that it is a numbered, I'm gonna see if I can get that in there. This one is number 1325 right there. And it does come with a card that gives you the model and, and uh, that it is their third run, their third release. Um, as you can see, it is a frame lock. See that there? And the uh, super rad pocket clip there. Just an awesome, awesome knife. You can see the back, back here on the edge of the knife. Just the milling and the overall fit and finish of this knife is ridiculous. It is so cool. So um, definitely more of a collector's knife for me. It's not something that uh, I'll probably actually use. I don't, I mean, I don't want to beat it up, um, but you can see that that's how you're going to deploy the knife uh, right there with that flipper tab. So you can flick it like that. Uh, or, and you got to be careful too, because when you close this thing, it's just drop shut. Um, and then with this milled out spot in the back, you can reverse flick it. And that's the way I love opening the, the, this knife. Then you can also see on the blade stock there, it's decent sized blade stock. And then um, also right there, you can see that they've got the Vero on the top right below the uh, jimping. So super rad knife, really like this one, really glad that I got one. And then um, this very last one, I, I'm thinking who's Knife collection would not be uh, complete without a straight up gas station knife. And that's what this guy is. It doesn't even have a name, it just has a number. And uh, when I saw this thing, I was just like, that's like too ridiculous to not get. Um, I did order it, it's not from an actual gas station, but this thing is ridiculous. And uh, from the blade size to the thickness of the actual stock that they use. Look at those massive thumb studs. Um, it is a crossbar lock. You can see that there. It has like no pressure on it. You saw how quick I dropped that out. It's got these metal like scales on it. You can see that with like that just faux camo pattern on there. Um, it does have a reversible pocket clip though, and it is inset into the liner. Um, the uh, screws are not inset, but I wouldn't expect them to be on a knife like this. Um, but it's just massive. I mean, my, I have decent sized hands and I'm like, if I choke up all the way on this knife, look how much of that sticks out of my, out of my hand. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, it's like super cool. Um, and then to actuate, to close it, it's like the, the, the handle of the knife is like so long, it's like really hard to even try to, yeah, it's even really hard to try to pull down on that crossbar lock. Um, but opening it is like, you just sling it open. There's like no pressure on it. We can see that there, um, this is uh, the, the manufacturer, the brand of this is called Tac Force. And I'll see if I can find a link for this one. I will, below the knife here, I'll put the, uh, if I haven't already done it already, um, I'll put the, the name of the, or the number of this model, but that's it right there. You can see that's just crazy, crazy, crazy knife. So there's some more uh, information right there on the blade. You can kind of see that. It's just silly. 
But anyways, guys, this is the uh, newest um, additions to my personal collection. Maybe you've seen something in here that you like that uh, you'd like to put in your collection. Maybe there's some knives in here that you've never seen before and, uh, and they're, they're jumping out at you. So you can, like I said, we'll leave all the links so that you can check these out. And hopefully we've showed you something that maybe you will end up putting in your collection. All right, I think that's going to be pretty much it for, for my collection. So let me go ahead and bring you guys back out, and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts for this episode. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this episode. I really, really appreciate all of you that have made it to the end of the video. Uh, thank you again to all of our subscribers, all of you who have liked our videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you enjoyed the content in this video. If you did, uh, we will leave some links up here and down here uh, for some other videos that of ours that if you'd like to go and check out uh, those, um, especially that Demco. Um, if any of you guys have been on the fence about maybe purchasing one of those, definitely go and check out that video. All right, guys, until the next episode, you know the deal. Remember to keep those tips up.